am Aishwarya Shridhar, a National Geographic Explorer, a wildlife filmmaker and photographer from India. Well, if you were to ask me five words to describe my job, first and foremost that comes to my mind would be bold and uh, impactful, uh, adventurous, uh, yes, creative and um, full of visual storytelling and amazing. I picked up the camera to actually tell stories of the wild because I personally feel that still photographs and documentaries wield a transformative influence on people and I wanted to harness that power and make people fall in love with the natural world and thereby turn its protectors and guardians. I want to use my visual storytelling skills to influence people to inspire action and evoke emotions. I think the favorite part about my job would be that I get to spend so much time out in the wild uh, chasing stories that really make a difference and um, I get to actually, I'm fortunate enough to be able to get really up close and personal with some really cool and incredible species and I'm absolutely no one day blues. So for me every day is a new adventure, uh, it's, it's a new uh, habitat, it's a new species to document and I really enjoy actually uh, spending time with them and getting to learn so much about their unique behavior and things which uh, maybe people have never seen or documented before. Well, I became a wildlife storyteller because of my childhood, I would say. I had an incredibly great childhood uh, in the foothills of Mathuran in India and I had all kinds of wildlife in my own backyard. So from a very early age, I have fallen in love with nature and I just wanted to take uh, the impact that forest experiences had on me and multiply it to the audience around me uh, through uh, pictures and through uh, short documentaries. So that's the reason I picked up the camera. Uh, I think the biggest qualification you need to be a wildlife filmmaker and storyteller is that you need to have loads and loads of passion for our incredible environment and for conservation because that passion will translate into powerful storytelling which uh, will deliver the right message to the audience and apart from that uh, you can also be a biology or a science student definitely that would help but uh, I am neither I'm actually a mass communication student and that actually helps in my storytelling skills uh, but at the end of the day I think if you have uh, a passion for our environment you can be a good storyteller and of course you need loads and loads of patience you have to spend hours and hours playing the waiting game uh, so yeah patience passion and perseverance the three p's you need that <laughs>